but what I plan to do is I'm going to put it right there on the rotating score panel mount. So this is one of my latest finds. I've got this solar panel off of eBay. It's up for 99 cents. It's used. And uh, I think it's about five or eight watts. This type of panel is supposed to work in all kinds of weather. Cable. Now this is the kind of end that came on it. I think it's a 2.5 millimeter sort of like headphone jack. It's really small. These are the little adapters I picked up off of eBay. There's the male and the female. And for this kind of setup, I needed a, a female and they wanted $20 for a simple little part that would, uh, the female part would hook onto your batteries. So what I did is I, I bought, I think, six of these units for $3 off eBay. I'll put the male part into there and then I'll put my positive negative wires into the ends here and that will go to my batteries. Now this, this is only low voltage. And I'm only really putting out, you know, a couple of milliamps, I'd say. So this kind of setup would work fine. I'm not, not pumping 20 amps through this. So, so I'm going to take my multimeter. I'm going to hook it up to the leads that come from the solar panel. And we'll see what kind of voltage will come off this little solar panel. So we're getting 24.2 volts under no load so it's not hooked up to a battery so let's see what kind of amps it produces so we're getting, we're getting point two five amps or two four around that it's not nothing spectacular Acting as a triple charger for like a battery, and I can hook it up to my battery for my generator. It'll work just fine. So I'm working on my clips right now. I drilled out my holes. That's what's going to go into the track. I'm going to bend it right at this line here, so this part will be bent up, and uh, get it ready for the. Those are going to be the Z mounts for mounting the. Or, solar panel to the got the pieces cut. Now I'm just gonna do the other side. I just discovered a really silly mistake. I thought this panel was actually 12 inches wide and in fact it's uh, 13 and three quarter inches wide. So it won't fit on my existing mount. So what I did is I found these pieces that were left over from another project and I'm going to slide them underneath, attach these to the IKEA mounts, and then have my clips on here, my Z clips on here and here. Something really cool. These nine inch pieces slide nicely right up inside. So now I have another piece of can move around. So good news. Uh, if you don't have one of those little rubber thingies I, that slide up inside, if you use carriage bolts, a lock washer, and a washer, it'll create enough resistance for it to slide up through this track to there. There, so it's put it like that. Got the extensions in, and what I'm going to do now is just cut off this little top here, 
with my uh, grinder. Okay, got it done. Got the extensions on the bottom so I can put this small solar panel on. Clips on the top. Clips on the bottom. Went with butterfly, butterfly nuts in the bottom here because it was just easier to do the bottom first and then do the top later on. I'll show you underneath. Okay. Okay, today I put the uh, guide mechanism. So there's uh, the back of the small solar panel. 